Good day to everybody. Today we have a date when we have our starters uh, need to be cleaned out from cells, the first route, and we're gonna place them in a finisher. Um, we have a finisher right here. Okay, we need to make the, our finisher ready to accept uh, first cells. We need to move from starters to the finisher. Okay, we know what the starter means, okay? Now the finisher. The finisher is the colony, regular colony, strong colony, um, contains on the bottom super. Um, after that, we have queen excluder over it. And the top super contains a few frames of brood. So finisher means a colony, strong colony on the bottom, on a uh, excluder, and on a top we have, depends on how many frames, we have three or four frames uh, on a top. Most of the time three because more cells, less frames. And frames are with the brood. Here is not really obsolete ru uh, rule for uh, what brood we can have here. But anyway, uh, every eight days we rotate uh, frames um, in the finisher as well. We take the uh, sealed brood down and we pull more open brood up. This colony will save our cells, which is most of them will come here already sealed. And only what they need uh, to have more from this colony, it's the uh, warm humidity and um, a little bit more wax to keep the wall of the cell stronger. So, of course, the wax goes from the young bees only. We prefer to have open um, brood frames on the top and every eight days we rotate them. Just go with the seal brood down to the colony and from the queen who is working constantly on the bottom, we will pull the open frames. Here we're making like uh, spaces and in this spaces between the brood frames, we're gonna put our uh, grafting frames. Let's see what we got. So as soon we pull the um, uh, grafting frame up, we quickly evaluate it, see um, how many cells we have. So sometimes it's a, a good accept, uh, exceptions. I think this is a good take for the queen. Uh, each plant has 17 cells uh, caps. So if we miss one or two, means it's just like 30 uh, qu uh, queen cells are here. Okay, um, we put it down. On a frame, we have date which the, uh, when the cells are going to be hatching and next to it, I'll put the number of the cells on these frames, 30. Plus or minus, but it, it gives us an idea what we have, what we will have on a date nine. Okay, right now I just close it. And uh, over here, uh, we uh, on the cover of the each uh, cell builder, we have a record too. So I'm going to put 30. This record gives us an idea when we work with the brood rotating frames, like because it's a start, it's just a started date. But anyway, um, when the uh, a serving crew will come and see February the 22nd, the 
colony was organized or worked with. So really next eight days, it stays as is. So on a day eight, we just um, taking the uh, head off, uh, go down and check the queen, check how she works. Make sure she doesn't need uh, extra help from regular hives as a brood or more bees or something. Keep, make sure it keeps a strong um, colony. Uh, pull the couple frames with open brood and place them in the middle of the brood chamber again. And uh, these frames already with the sealed brood goes down. So that's rotation every eight days. So if you miss it, you could have uh, mm, losing control. If this colony get over full, they can get swarming. Um, and if there is a no uh, open brood on the top, you probably will have less quality of cells. I think this is very um, simple and everybody understand what it means work with the colony. Uh, see if they're doing well or not well, if they need help or they, they're doing okay. If a record show us a few times that um, colony do not want to uh, take the uh, queen cells for um, rearing queens, so if they don't want it, we just change the colony. If the colony is passion to do queen cells they doing it with our help they doing it constantly and some colony just don't want to do it one two three so some of them missing probably a couple of them but anyway, from 30, 34, I will put 30 for our um, for our record. So on this particular space, uh, spot, uh, spot space. Uh, our grafting, we have to keep our records uh, for many reasons in many places. The finisher should have a record when it, it get used and when it was uh, having a frames rotation. It's very important that uh, bees will serve uh, queen cells very well. Um, the cell builders, they have their own record when the frames was rotated in the same time, when we work with the uh, uh, frame rotation, we have chance to evaluate uh, um, queen on the bottom, how she keeps the colony. If she needs help because they get weaker for certain uh, reasons, not always depend on the queen, we help in them. If the record shows that acceptance rate goes down, um, maybe they get their own reasons but if we do not see we can fix it we just change the colony bring another in and this goes to the field working uh, happily um, for our field work which is very important for us too so but records it's very important that you will know what's going on because by the time you passed all 40 uh, plus pallets with the cell builders, you cannot memorize what's going on in each colony. And especially if it's the, if you people work here, which usually that's what happened. So it's hard to keep track of everything by the memory. Everything should be in, in written. Everybody can take a look. This is the date we have to rotate the frames. This is date we have to do something else. Records need to be um, keep very accurately that it very important part of the job too okay so uh, when we uh, when we're gonna finish um, 
you know, putting the all frames out, which is, we will do it in a few minutes. Um, we will have summarized our um, amount of cells we will have on a, uh, on a certain date. And this record will once again go to the um, a finisher cover. And we will know how many cells will come out on a day nine, for example. So, and it gives us one week ahead of time uh, information what could happen, what we can do with the cells. If we have uh, a thousand cell, cells a day, we better have a room for them. We cannot put them on a shelf and wait, maybe we can use them tomorrow or uh, a week later, you know, that's never happened. We have to be prepared to give them home um, ahead of time uh, if it goes to the customers, customer know they should be ready for it, that they will you know, happily um, get their nooks running. If it goes for our nook yard, same thing. We have to prepare the nooks rooms that they're going to be ready. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. If you guys would like to have our cells, we're more than happy to help you. Uh, the only thing, uh, give us a call ahead of time um, that we will schedule your order that you will have uh, sales when you need it and how you need it. We can ship them, but of course for sales, the local pickup would be more better, but we can ship them by the UPS next day air. Okay.